from Royal London and this is the sound of Afrobeat's Love Afrobeat special. Hey, what's up, what's up, people? It's your boy One Day Cole, and you're watching Sounds of Afro Beats. This is the sound of Afro Beats. So let's talk about Afro Beats. The word Afro Beats could be said to be coined by such legends such as Sir Sheena Peters. Fella Kuti and King Sonny Ade. If you love me, you go away for me. I'm sure you've been to a birthday party, wedding, christening, and you've heard some of their music. Afrobeats has moved internationally with Afropean stars such as JJC with Kilo Shele. And now we have the new school Afrobeat stars such as Two Face and P Square. Here's P Square with Eno Easy. I need to enter for I Make you do your best Papa God go handle the rest Even if you no get money They jolly they shake body No need to get your body If it no be God way That's gonna be me dead body Nobody be no baby When you fall you go stand up again You try him again, again and again and again Cause you know it's easy To the singer they dance and the people they Now your hand working. Yeah, yeah. You know easy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You know easy. 
brothers and sisters, you know easy, yeah. You know easy, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Even if you no get money, you know easy, yeah. You sing and they dance, you talk less of the shit, buddy. You know easy, yeah. Try. Now your hand work, yeah. Now your hand work, yeah. Baba God, now your hand work, yeah. Now your hand work, yeah. See, even if we no get money, we go to our leadership, buddy. Now your hand work, yeah. Welcome back to the show. I have a very, very special guest joining me. I'm so excited. She's a new UK Afrobeat sensation, songstress. It's Ezzy Amela. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You're looking lovely, glamorous, beautiful. I really want to know what's been happening with you because literally you're new to the seat and you're really taking over. So tell them a little bit about yourself. Um, yeah, I'm Ezzy. Um, I'm based in London and I've just started my Afrobeat um, career and it's going really well. I've just dropped my first and new single called Catch My Heart um, last week and the video has done very well so I'm really, I'm really happy. So you say you're from London, but you've got a slight accent. Where is it from? Um, I was actually born in Manchester. I moved to London a few years ago to start my career and go to university. Oh, lovely. But you're Nigerian all the way through, right? Definitely. I'm Igbo. Oh, hello, hello. So am I. So am I. We're family. <laughs> But this Afrobeats career for you, like, how's it been? I know it, it's new, you're, like, literally, you're new to the scene, so how's it been? Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I really love it. Um, I love Afrobeats anyway, but um, when I decided to get into it, I was quite scared because I've never, you know, lived in Nigeria and stuff. I thought it might be a bit difficult, but it's been a really, really easy road, and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, and you recently performed at Nigeria House. Well, how was that? Was it good? Um, it was really good, actually. The first performance, um, I was very, very nervous, but it went well. Um, I performed and I came off stage and the crowd asked me to come back and do it again, so I did. And then we got asked to come back the next day as well to perform. It was very nerve-wracking being watched by, you know, other artists as well, like Ice Prince. And one day it was just like, oh. But, you know, I really had fun on stage, so, yeah. That's big. You've been literally partying and performing with some big, big stars. So, literally, are you planning any collaborations or anything like that? Um, there's been talks of because <laughs> I don't. I'm not allowed to say. What? What? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you later about. Okay, you're gonna whisper in my ear. Okay, cool. I'll tell you later. <laughs> But yes, you've got a big, big, big event coming up. 
Love Afrobeats Festival. How do you feel about that one? Oh my God, I'm actually so excited. I feel like I've been privileged to be in it, do you know what I mean? But um, it's just going to have to be so much hard work now preparing and rehearsing because I need to have a great show. Like, it can't be anything else but great. So, <laughs> so you know, a lot of work going to be put into it, but I'm really excited. Nice, nice. Now, you, you was breaking out a couple of moves in the video. Are we going to be seeing some big dance choreography? I can join you if you want me to on stage. No problem. Yeah, no? Um, you can join, Ravel. But yes, there will be choreography. There will be... I hope it's good. I mean, <laughs> um, I can move a bit, so it won't be that bad. But if you want to join, you know, I'll let you know. Come to rehearsal and we'll do this. I will be there. Is there any Azonto going to be featuring? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely going to be Azonto in there. I think I need some, some help brushing up on my Azonto. Can we'll you? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I'm glad you're here to help me as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really excited. Is there anything you want to say to your fans leading up to the show and to look out for you? Um, just to make sure you're there and, you know, really carry on supporting me because I have had a lot of support up to now and just, you know, come along and, yeah, come and have a great show with me, really. Good, good. I'm so excited. It's been lovely speaking to you, Ezzy Amela, and we here at Love Afrobeats. Oh, okay. Oh, is there something going on? Okay, well, as um, Ezzy and Afro Panda get acquainted, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go. Oh, okay, Panda, she's with me, okay? Jeez. Oh, so, oh, this is your. That's my boo. Oh, okay. Panda, you can come back then. <laughs> she wants you. Okay. Ezzy Amela, Afro Panda, Romeo London. Thank you, thank you. That was the beautiful Ezzy Amela. Now let's go to P Square, who are going to tell us a little bit more about themselves and what they got planned for you. No, not, not you. <laughs> Alright, all of you, the fans. <laughs> Please tell us a story. Uh, um, the collaboration with uh, We Recross, of course, you know, ever since Peace Square have like um, some kind of business with Convict Music, now we can now mix up with everybody. And uh, it was more of a simple thing, you know, whereby um, Aircon was like, you know, we can decide to feature anybody in the song. We suggest, okay, we, we need a Recross, and everything happened that way. And again, I don't think it took us much uh, time, you know, but you know, of course everybody's busy. We were on, on tour, he was on tour, but you know, we have to fly all the way to, you know, uh, Miami, Miami to do the, his own scene of the video and we'll finish the rest in uh, South Africa, Cape Town. But it was great. Well, uh, being a... Uh, I would say being signed with Universal for, for Peace Group, I think I give it up to the fans because um, they made it possible, you know. It's good. I think from now, anytime we say, okay, let's say 4th of July, Peace Group's album is going to be in stores. I'm sure you go to anywhere, you know, any, everywhere in this part of this world, you get to see Peace Group's album iTunes everywhere because for us I think it's for the fans not for us really because we, we, we wanted a situation uh, you know whereby if Peace Corps releases the album everyone you know gets it so for us it's a great thing and we're so happy to get it done I mean now I, I think we're the first Africans being you know, signed under Universal but it's, 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 it's a stepping uh, stone, stone for, every, for every other artist now we've opened the doors and we want more people to come and after us, I heard another group also signed, so we were happy. That's the way it should be done. For South Africa, eh, we did try to understand why some people are not. I think for, for, for Peace Square, for us and uh, Convict, it's more like a, a joint venture where you know, we work hand in hand, but trust me, it's a good thing. We, we are not regretting it, we are loving it. You know, for the past six months, we got it done. It's everyone, Akon is happy, we're all happy, we work together. I mean, Akon is like a brother, like he was in this house um, three months ago, he was here for like two and a half, two, three days, when we were here we had fun, so for us the, 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 the joint venture really works, it, it makes us now, you know, we don't stress ourselves, now we don't stress ourselves.
more. We have people on the ground working and all that, so it's a good thing. I got a story. I get the story. When it comes to Peace Square, expect the unexpected. Peace Square will don't disappoint the fans and uh, I, like you know, we do all this for the fans. It's not because of we're collaborating with this, but that's exactly. what we're doing. What we know that we promise to give our fans good music, with or without collaboration, we are good. And it's that simple that for us, we try to like do more and talk less. So. And we love surprises. We so love surprises. Yeah, because because that some, somehow I think our fans too they surprise us. Because sometimes we pull out an album, a song that we expect to be a hit is not a hit. They choose the next one. So who do me or do you for not do us with doing about simple? So you guys are surprising us by loving us so much. We're gonna keep surprising you guys. We won't tell you what we're about to do. Trust so me. Expect the unexpected, huh? Yeah. Thank you. To my fellow musicians. Thank you. For now, for Peace Square, Square it's more we're, like it's gonna, we're gonna keep working. We we'll keep working. Keep we don't have a particular time we we'll walk. Mm. Yeah, but just okay. that sometimes when you travel a lot, you, you, you come know, back, you, you come back, your, you lose your voice. But you have a cracky voice. If it is know. writing and production, everything we're still doing that. Still but doing for recording, like going to the studio and record. For now, we're busy traveling, so that's what we're doing now. We're not recording for now. Okay, presently now to all our fans in the UK, you guys have been wonderful, you guys have been supportive and we love what you guys are doing, God continue blessing you guys and it's simple, we're coming back to London, okay, we're coming back, like we're, we're coming, coming back, back with the full force with this full time, force, you know, I think for our London fans, they, they haven't seen us perform. I will, I will, yeah, you guys think you've seen us, you haven't seen us, nah. but trust me, this time you're going to see us, 16 man band, we're coming, you know the date. You know the date, I repeat, you know the date. August 26th, Peace Square, we are coming back with full force. Not just Peace Square this time, but trust me, it's going to be huge. 16 man band, live, we are ready. You guys have heard of Invasion, Invasion concert. What is this invasion? UK, you guys are about to witness the Invasion concert. Definitely, so Come we're bringing August 26th, 2012. We'll see you there. We we'll love you guys, UK fans. Thank you. Um, basically, I think for P Square it's more like uh, you know we started the um, video um, revolution in Nigeria, Africa as a whole because um, we were sick and tired of the kind of videos we see people bringing out. And we we can do better. Exactly. Even when we we're in Jaws, we came out with Get Squared. We started doing some kind of authentic videos, but presently now it's more we are not challenging not like what is happening in Africa now, or, you know. But we we're trying to like make sure the way people see the americans that's the way they see us too so we try as much as possible to bring out good quality videos you know spend time uh it's not even necessary act, um, more spending money because the beautiful in you, you might you see i'll tell you do me is more expensive than beautiful yeah, in you no. but you won't you won't agree you know it is more expensive you i'm know? talking about concert train for peace square we are the type that the only thing we compete ourselves on is trying to do better than what we've done before you know <clears throat> if Peace Square says we're going to bring out a video, like we always have this timing. First, when we came out with Do Me, we said within two months, we want to have one million views. It, get, it got there. That's how Chop My Money came out. We said two weeks, we'll get one million. Eleven days, we got it. This one, we said, ah, we're sure, like ten days. Before you know, six days, we got one million. So for Peace Square, we're trying to do better than what we've done before. And that has really, really helped us. <laughs> That was the lovely duo P Square. Now next week, make sure you do not miss the exclusive behind the scenes. Access all area footage of One Day Cole video shoot Go Low. I'm Ramel London and this is the Sound of Afrobeats, the Love Afrobeat special. As promised on last week's show, here is the exclusive network premiere of Mr. Mady, Ila Ijo. <laughs>